In this video, I'm going to teach you how to cut an onion like a pro. Onions are one of the most consumed vegetables on the planet. They add a lot of texture and flavor to your foods and there's many different types. But a lot of people don't know how to cut the onions. So let's get started. We're going to start by removing the tip of the onion first. With this, this allows us to have that flat edge. So again, the food's not wobbling around. From here, we're actually going to cut directly through the center of the butt. Again, remember, there's the top of the onion and the bottom of the onion, which is going to have the rooty sides. The goal is to cut off the top and cut through the rooty butt of the onion. This keeps the whole onion intact because that's where it all connects. From here, you're actually going to peel off not only just the outer layer of skin, but I also like to peel off that top layer of onion too. The reason why is because it's often drier and it doesn't actually cook down in any of your foods. Now you can remove this completely, or a lot of times I'll actually just leave this as an extra part of the onion to grip onto. With that, you're actually going to take the top of your hand, place it on top of the onion, and carefully give a little side cut into the onion. By doing this, you'll actually be able to get cuts along there, and you'll see how it'll make your chops a lot easier. Now I'm going to use the tip of the santoku and actually cut into the onion. I'm doing this for the camera angle, but now I'm going to have it a little bit more comfortable. My goal is to not cut all the way through the onion, but allow the onion to stay connected at the root, making those cuts just shy of the edge. Now I'm going to use that locomotive motion that we taught, keep our fingers in the claw motion and away from the knife, and cut right through. And you'll see how we're getting just those perfect chops, which would be perfect for a salsa or adding into a stir fry. Now let's say you want to do something a little bit smaller than even a, uh, a more what's called a fine chop. With something like a fine chop, if you want to go into something more like a mince, so that the onion really breaks down and is almost invisible, it's just there for the flavor and not the texture, something more like a dressing or a sauce, we're simply going to put our fingertips on the blade or a palm on the blade and just rock this back part back and forth. Remember to not use the blade to scoop, but rather the back of the knife. I could keep doing this over and over until the pieces are small enough. Finally, you can use the knife with the wide blade to actually scoop and move. Don't get a little, don't get overly crazy with this and no need to try and make it in one trip. Hey, I hope you learned something valuable in this video. And if you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to stay in touch and keep up with all the good tips and tricks to make your life in the kitchen easier, whether you want to be in there or not. I want to hear from you. What do you love using this knife for? What are your questions about the 7 inch Santoku that we haven't answered? And what other knives do you want to learn how to use? We look forward to hearing and looking at all of your comments in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video and until then, remember, it's not the food that you serve on the table that matters most, it's who you share it with.